here we go, another vlog. Going on a solo mission to start it out. I'm here leaving White Swan. Just left the Wallahi household and I'm making my way back to mission. And drop some stuff off and pick up a couple packages and come back up here and be ready to head out tomorrow. Uh, it is currently Wednesday, June 26th. And the time is now 6.21 and I'm on the road. So, here we go. Well, I am currently on the bridge, crossing the Columbia River, heading towards Umatilla. First time in Oregon for just about a week. Or in just about a week. Almost there, a few more minutes to get to the bro. Well, time is now 8.30 and I'm just now pulling through Pendleton. Uh, I'm still on 84, heading west or eastbound. About to get to the res here pretty soon. Stop by my house, uh, drop off some stuff I have in the back that I don't need, and pick a couple things up, and then off to pick up the bro, and then back to the valley. So just a quick visit here in Mission, back home. Then I'll be gone from here for a while. Well, I gotta come back and drop the girl off after this weekend. And then I'll be gone for a good month or two. So, so update. Guess who's back? Saw it. <laughs> he wasn't expecting to go nowhere this weekend, but here we are. I was not expecting this at all. Caught so me off guard. I still gotta do laundry. Still gotta get everything situated. I'm trying to get my life together here. Yeah. Right. Caught me. Caught me. My pants down. Oh! <laughs> he thinks his Z bed work this weekend. I was like, I don't know. Let me call him up. Called him up. Nope. I'm off. I was like, all right. <coughs> so came back home, swooped him up. And now we're about to stop and do our annual get the drink before we head out. All of a sudden, we're leaving the Northwest this weekend. Yeah. I mean, well, these guys already did, but all of a sudden, I get to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> At least until next month. Just until next month. So. Well, that was short-lived. We're back in Washington now. That was a, that was a record scratch moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those beep. But, uh, yeah, now we're just across the, across the river there. Now we're into Washington, about to hit the back roads over to the valley. Uh, horse Heaven. Yeah, we got old Horse Heaven Hills. So, yeah, slowly checking our way there, hour and a half out. Me and the bro just cracking up, listening to some fucking podcasts. Shout out to Culture Stream and all the them boys over that way. Shit's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, entertaining us for sure. <laughs> so. Alrighty, here we go. Well, eleven thirty-six or so, made it here to the Wallahi household once again. Crash our, I'm gonna crash out for the night. All oh, Ebev's got some laundry to do. <sighs> Sounds exciting. Right. But yeah. Pretty much ends the evening here, and I'll be on the road tomorrow. Who? Oh, good morning. Afternoon. Got up pretty early this morning. Started getting around. Um, I was repacking the car now. I fit all the shit in there. Got me and Ebev's tents and our bags and Ebev's uh, bedding. We gotta throw Grandpa OJ on with us and the sticks. So, um, yeah, we're gonna figure it out one way or another. You know? Yep, got his whole life with him. As per usual. So, yeah. As a custom. Wouldn't be a trip with Ebev out of the Northwest without the whole life supply of blankets. You never know what the fuck's gonna happen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, not too shabby. Well, 
fucking jam. Ethan's back there somewhere. Jam packed to the brim. We're on, we're on our way. Me and Wyatt Tony have been on the road for about two weeks now. E Bam's coming for the weekend. We don't even have this much stuff with that. It's because his camping gear is on another fucking ride. That's why. I'm trying to make these fucking I'm trying to guilt trip me. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking jam packed to the brim. <laughs> These slides will be comfy, all the fucking blankets and shit. <laughs> you know the story. It's not a. I promise. Yeah, right it? Yeah. It's not a power trip without stopping once. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Bro, why don't we have this at our shit? <laughs> what gotta, is all this? Gotta order it online. Gotta or they gotta make us order it online. Looking discreet packaging. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Bro said either BK or... Ah. <laughs> yeah, might as well. So we're at Burger King and our order total came up to like 45 bucks pretty much. So we got 27 cash. Now I'm going to tell her that we've got a boy named Roos. We'll stop by on the way back after Canada. Now that should square us away. And if that doesn't work, we'll use all of our insurance with street grass. Yep. If we were given like six braids up at Satellite. We got extra. So oh. They did. They got it. So, <laughs> so we're prepared for this. And it even. Kinda. Kinda. So me and the bro got Dr. Pepper. He's all, which one do you want? <laughs> so let's, let's take this one. So you like the bottom, huh? <laughs> I looked at him with a face like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Now it's you. Well, uh, now I guess since you mentioned it. Uh, I was preferring the couple. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, last American food, then we go up there where the food's all funny. It's all poutine and shit. Mm -hmm. Fucking weird ass hamburger patties, huh, Ethan? Yeah. Shit tastes all rank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some Chinese food. Yeah. Even that was weird. <laughs> we had that too. <laughs> <laughs> like how how do you really mess up Chinese food like that? Damn it. Yeah. Just about getting there to the border. Just enjoying our last we stopped at Walmart now we're gonna enjoy our food. And we gas up and then head back and head up the way. Almost there. Not really, but kinda. Well, not sponsored. Not sponsored. But, yeah. Sponsored, but not sponsored, yeah. Sponsored, but not sponsored. Shout out to the Burger King. Right. Mm. Dang. All right. Some top quality hamburger right there. Mm -hmm. Another one that us. Well, it's our last time getting gallons of gas. We're going to be getting liters after this. Up here in Bonners Ferry. Stretch our legs out for a minute. We're about five hours away, five and a half hours away from the destination. So, almost there, kind of. It's about the halfway point. We were in the abyss where it was all nice and rainy. And all, and all of a sudden, it's bright as shit outside. Well, we're back at the border. Made it. Here we go. Just three of us. Where do you guys work? Uh, six of cover. The six of cover shirt. Uh, we're gonna be here probably till Sunday. Head back Sunday. Any alcohol stock over there? No. No guns or weapons. No. Currency over ten thousand dollars. No. Not 
we wish. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just came through last weekend. Talking about our ideas? Yeah. Is there brand spanking you? Yeah, like I said, I, I literally just came through this past weekend with the same IDs. Yeah, well, it's when you came first, so we probably were doing the same thing. Alrighty. Alright. Fuck, you guys hear that? The fuck? I'm trying to see our IDs aren't real IDs, bitches. Mm. I know, what the <laughs> shit is that? What the fuck is that shit? Okay. Government issue. Alright. <laughs> Sus. Well, welcome back to Canada. We're in Canada. <laughs> I was like, I literally, this is my first time coming through the border. Well, they've been, they've probably all been doing the same thing I'm doing. I'm like, what are the odds of them fucking doing that six, seven different fucking times? Last year, my idea was in worse condition than what it is right now. Like, it was barely even off a little, it was broken in the middle, like, hanging by one little small piece. They took it last year without no problem. <clears throat> Fuck these border patrols. The hell? <laughs> Fuck. So we're just chilling, cruising along, listening to old, our videos and past powwows and one of the songs I composed come up and we were listening to it. Elijah brought it up and it's all. You know, I still never sang this one with you guys. Yeah. And then <clears throat> Ethan. Pulled the buckaroo. You know that song means or it talks about when Kel's got his tent broken into. Are you sure? Tenji Nami, I was chilling at the casino. Did not wait. Then I came back to Payusha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gushna Kai. Everything was gone. <laughs> I'll never, never be seen again. Fuck. Yeah, so I told him, I was like, oh, it's been a year, just about a year ago, a couple days ago, is when that shit happened, got robbed at Payumsha. So, I guess we have to have a memorial song, take our hats off and everything, but for my lost hats and blankets. <laughs> But, yeah, just random ass fucking combo that came up and felt like we had to tell you guys, so. Just have everyone think it's all sacred and just, uh, yeah. just a memorial song. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, so, yeah, whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, just random ass conversation. So, about 10 o'clock, or 9.44, 10.44, whatever the fuck it is. We're here in uh, Elkford or Sparwood or one of these towns. Stopped at the gas station to use the rest, you know, the washroom and the bathroom, whatever. And they were fucking closed, so I was gonna clean it. So I was like, all right, and that's kind of the only reason I stopped here. Got the cream soda and got the bro Dr. Pepper. And I ran all the way across the parking lot to McDonald's just for them to be closed. So, pray for my bladder. I'm in the wrong lane. Bitches. Yep. Yeah. Bitches. So, I'm going to try this Tim Hortons and see if they have an open bathroom. I was going to try to hold mm -hmm. off a little longer, but it's not, not looking good. It's not looking good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right in there. Oh! Yeah. Bitches! Yeah, we're gonna pull over that fucking sign. Fuck this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck! He's got a fucking piss, man. 
Well, I didn't remember the gas station closed. Well, the store was open, but the restroom was being cleaned. The fucking McDonald's, it was closed. Tim Hortons, closed. Fuck. Fuck, I got brutal for a second. What? Officially in Wild Rose Country. Yee! <laughs> Just crossed into Alboida here. Alboida, right there. But passing the Crow's Nest Lake. Me and Wes jumped in there last summer. Shit was fucking cold. <laughs> it was fun though. But yeah. Slowly checking along, making our way. Making our way downtown. Yeah, making our way downtown. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Man. Well, we're about 40 minutes out. Ethan just said that we got a place to crash out at tonight, so I'm gonna sleep in the rain. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I was like. I was kind of looking forward to it, you know. Set up my little teeth in the tent lunch. Set up camp in the rain. Yeah. It's part of the I, part of the process. I take it as a, <laughs> I take it as a challenge how fast <laughs> I get this shit done. Yeah. But, well, we got, we got a roof over our heads for the night. About 40 minutes out from the destination. <laughs> I've been just following this truck for the last hour and a half. Pretty much. And, I mean, like the truck's going pretty good speed, so I'm like, oh, I'm just going to sleep behind him. It's raining. I don't know if the girls know this or not, but I can't see shit in the rain, so I'm just hoping for the best behind this truck. <laughs> 12.15. Tours, but we're here. <coughs> At least for the the spot for the night. Yep. There we go. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. So 
That's how we spend in the morning. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Now we're ready to go and check it out. Yeah, last night not so much, but today, yeah. Go ahead, Vinny. Yeah, it's gonna have a ceremony all the way out here. <laughs> yeah, he ended up biffing it. Yeah. Took a badass stumble in the mud. Oh fuck. Their security was actually helpful, giving us directions of where to go and where to be. This guy's not very often, not very often we get that. Probably not even here. Just see how loud. Quest! Bam. Marcus and them have my bedding. So let's chill and wait. Look who shows it. Here's mine. And then the ball seats. I didn't get the memo. Yeah, these guys didn't get the memo. Well, this guy, let me just share one now. Yeah. Oh, the teepee. I was laying in the tent. No bedding, because Marcus and them have my bedding. But uh, well, I just all go see what they got. So, here we are. Kind of hoping they had card too, because that's all we got. It's card. But found out they got an ATM. Canada's smart. They, they think about us. Well, they the think US. they think about the people. Yeah. So. Uh, all of a sudden, we're at the Pendleton Roundup. Oh. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, we're coming over to the food vendors to check it out. Couple of big boys need to fix. So we got uh, Bannock burgers, some the best Bannock First Nations. He's got the bacon cheese Bannock burger. And I got the Big Lou, which is pretty much the same thing, but with mushrooms and onions. So far, it's looking kind of small for the price, bro. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's update. Major letdown. Major letdown. That was not good. Yeah. Sorry, Best Bannock, but... I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it's definitely not something we're going to go back for. I don't know what I expected. I had a hamburger here up here in Canada last, month, last week, and it was... The burgers taste weird. So next time, I just know. Wait until the... Chubby Chuck's chicken get, opens up. But come to realization, I told the bros, I like, fuck, I feel bad for drinking my pot before we ate. But I think now is the time I need it most. I'm sitting over here. I'm, I'm trying to wet the whistle over here. No, we, got, no, we taste just the burger. Canadians probably like it, but we, we're used to the American beef. A little after five and our bros still ain't here. Me and Elijah here getting bored just talking to each other. Twiddling our thumbs and just people watching. Got this person right here. This looks lost. And there's that one. Or a teepee village. Modern day. Or modern day teepee village. Yeah, me said we got those cheap ones right over here. His bi weekly uh, appearance. And of course, we're sorry to go yeah. into ceremony. Ruth, serious question. Hey, Lyotona. Missed you, bud. Has bubbles. Oh shit! 
Hell no. <coughs> well, just about roll call time. We're on our way. Slowly but surely, we're on our way. Bro's ahead of me. Holy hell. Dang, get some long. Dang. Of course. Of course. Yeah, we're keeping the blanket on for contests. So I told the boys, what side? <laughs> <laughs> the flat side. <laughs> He's waiting on Johnny boy. We have a spirit chair here pretty soon. Almost roll call. Well, we're back to 10, at 11, and I was teasing about the spirit chair for Johnny, but we're actually going to need a spirit chair for Johnny. He's sitting with bullhorn instead of wild roads. Ah, just kidding. Oh uh, yeah, we're here though, roll call, first one on live, wild roads. Ten guys, but there's only two at the drum. <laughs> They're back. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. Got yeah, dude. In. Put me by him. It's okay. You're alright. You're alright. Gosh. Gosh damn it. Oh, I'm going to Hoop Fest. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Hoop Fest. Yeah, we're, oh, yeah, we got Hoop Fest. <laughs> we're going to Hoop Fest. Uh, he said he was going to Hoop Fest, he wouldn't want to go to Oneida with us. And all of a sudden, up here at Sixtica. <laughs> Golly. Dang, Roos. Acting all different. He's all in love. Wild Rose's biggest fan. Biggest fan. Well, first contest. Hey. Take a look at it, shaking my head. I'll shout these guys out because I know they're good. Yeah, we know them. We know them. Had this uh, stand in Kainai last year, and they were bomb. Yeah. Bacon poutine. So this guy got. It. I decided to try dry ribs this time. Don't get the burgers here in Canada. Highly do not recommend. Well, dry ribs and fries. Yep. Bacon poutine. <laughs> Dry ribs and fries, bacon poutine. Yeah. 
Fucking twins. Bruce. Mark it. Mark it. Over here. For the camera. Who's this guy? Yeah. Just all handsome and stuff. Well, it's dark enough outside. I don't need my shades. I gotta go get my actual glasses and probably hit up a ceremony here in a second. I'm going on a little walk, though. On a little walk. These ones are kind of nice. They're on the sinks. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Yeah, those are some top nooch porta potties, let me tell you what. It was nice and clean and everything. I don't see that very often. Of course, it's only Friday. Maybe I'll do another review in a couple days, Sunday or Saturday night. Well, we'll find out. I'll Holy hell, update. My allergies are kicking my ass right now. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna sneeze like 20 times straight. You see my eyes look all fucked up. Damn, runny nose to boot. I'm dying. Right. Kinda got bored of cream soda so I just got myself a Dr. Pepper and I also got some of these here pretty damn good shout out to Old Dutch not sponsored not sponsored but yeah there's these little shit kids back there looking at my license plates like all amazed USA USA <laughs> for real Canada doesn't get the cool license plates I'm sure Toronto probably has Raptors stuff, but that's about it. Well, Ontario, I should say, the whole state. Yep. <coughs> Ain't nothing like the good old states. Portland Blazers license plate. For real. Yep, we're just chilling. We both need a safety pin. I need to put storage on my tablet now. He's got to clean out his phone. Poor guy biffed it the other night. Yeah. The keys are the war story currently. Hey, still got dirt. Not a whole lot, but some. But yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm waiting for everyone to get back. I'm waiting for a roll call. Which one is taking that? Yeah, probably another nap. We'll see. Mm -hmm. This is what life is now. <laughs> Got my tablet, download some couple movies, and watch the old classic right now. Good old Shrek. Come pull it up with them. Pulls it up with them hoochie daddies. Cause he is a hoochie daddy. Just cruising to the arbor with the boys here. Well, we already got moved. They pushed us up. Are we moved? We moved. They're trying to push us back. Uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. I don't know shit. <laughs> nobody puts wild rose in the corner. And nobody puts baby. For real. Big baby. Big baby. <laughs> <laughs> if you know the movie, you know. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> yeah, so we're up here a little bit more. Ready for Saturday afternoon.
Yeah, what's going on, Wes? You're being all judgmental about his berries, man. Sacred, this guy. Almost as sacred as Kyrie Irving. Well, Saturday afternoon's a wrap. Yeah. Best gym carrier out there. Name is Roofs. You're lucky you got the drum and the free shot happened right there. Yeah, a little windy. Well, this is what we do on dinner break. Lounge in it. Lounge in it. And then there's that foe. Bruce. Pass out. <laughs> we were saying it earlier. The hamburgers taste weird here, so I stick to chicken. Shout out Sorrow Rider. Shout out Sorrow Rider. Cooked it up. Some of that Klamath Falls chicken in it. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> shout out shout out to my boy Hendo. I swear, so these long these breaks don't seem like they last very long anymore. Heading back, getting ready for roll call again. There's drum carrier out there. Just loves the drum so much. He's got a cuddle. He usually likes to cuddle with the Kuthla, but... Did you like cuddle with him? You're gross. <laughs> what did he ask for? Lulu's. What a guy. Men's guy special, I'm Don. Bro, for a horse deal. Another play. Oh, to be a kid again. SK is left and right here in Canada. Long romantic walk. It's all about the bromance. Yep. Ah. But uh, yeah, cookies and cream and maple walnut. I told him, like, you know, I'm old, but I, my favorite flavor of the picking is uh, maple walnut. Some people might back me on that, and I might get hate on it. Because to me, maple walnut just seems like an old person flavor. Well, SNL's a wrap. Chilling out now. Time is 11.16 Mountain Time. So it's pretty early ass night. 
do a couple of interviews, I guess. Yes, sir. Can't really see me, and you probably won't be able to see him very well. We're just over here talking shit. We're them two Muppets, the two old Muppets. The internet is a completely different culture, isn't it? You said it. Everything here is immediately mm. followed by sarcastic <laughs> comments and nasty responses. Yep. We're finally where we belong. <laughs> Bullshit. Fucking <laughs> 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 cracking some badass dad jokes. To be in love. Oh, yeah, we had some popcorn, better seat probably. Yeah, this is how I spend SNL. Fuck, I'll end it early. <laughs> Bro lost his wallet. Of course, the two shit talkers over here. <laughs> at least we know he can stay well, at least we know he has a place to stay here in Canada. <laughs> For a little, I hope he fucking finds that shit. <laughs> well. Bullshit continues. You know, a couple big boys gotta get her fix on. Try this out. I got the uh, cowboy poutine beef, cheese topped with bacon and onion rings. And the bro got the chicken finger meal. Classic, basic, and it works. <laughs> and this is the cowboy poutine. And the chicken strips. Don't you be whistling at night. It, was, it wasn't a whistle, it was. <laughs> he said it was bomb. I asked, Slow -mo. I asked him, is it? Oh. Damn, bro's awfully close to the bro's bed, ready to be Little Spoon. Damn yeah. it. God, Roos. Yeah. Well, back at camp in the tent. Good, I can pass out now. Sunday fun day. Well, good morning. Time is now about to be 10 o'clock mountain time. I got up about. 9.30, went, went and showered, and I'm on my way back to the grounds now. Nice, gray, and gloomy day here. I feel just stuffy as hell for no reason today. But, here we go. Yep, these guys are waiting. This guy is barely somewhat alive. And then we got the beast. And Frank. Well, update, went to the store, got some uh, soda. I'm looking for some allergy meds or some type, some like Buckley's or something, but you have to go to Walmart or something like that, and that's about a half hour away, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna rough it. I got some more uh, Fisherman Friends cough drops. Then I also end up getting some Vicks Vapo Inhaler. Kind of helping clear out my sinuses a little bit or clear out my congested feeling. I don't know what it is, but fuck, this air here sucks. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I was sitting there telling the boys, fuck, I feel shabby. I feel like I'm sounding shabby this weekend. But I don't know. Anyway, about to be nooner. Almost ready for Sunday fun day. Well, I'm uh, and while it's raining, I'm going to venture on over to the arbor. Mm. I'm not ready for this. Not ready for this. I'm going to get all the way over here to the arbor for them to call me back. Hit the keys. I was like, shit. I'll unlock it from here. You guys just hurry it up. Ah, just kidding. Now I got to stand in the cold, in the rain. These guys are taking their time. Nah, just kidding. Fuck, Grandpa's gonna be all fucking damp by the time he gets inside. Hurry up, Bruce. 
But his excuse for being slow right now is he's hungry. Like he's not hungry 24 7. See? That's where that name comes from, Hungry Horse. <laughs> well, Bruce, Sunday fun day, how are you feeling? Besides hungry. It's alright. Not too shabby. Just glad we didn't get maced. Don't say that. It's too early. Well, we're not at a creep house, though. So. Hold up, man. I was uh, sitting there trying to do an interview and we were walking across from a ch little church set up there. What the hell? Back at it again. Trying this out, that brisket poutine. Let's see how that is. One brisket poutine. Well, update me and bro, I just tore our brisket poutines down. These guys got the same thing, but with the with the Alabama white sauce. What is it, Ted? It's like a spicy man. Pretty good. Now we're getting ready for a Sunday contest. Yeah, he got payum shed up here in uh, Siksika. For those who don't know, went to fucking some uh, payum shed last year. My cam got tore down and shit was stolen. So shout out to payum shed for stealing my shit. Hopefully you guys needed it more than me. Yeah, I got the morning. Morning. Oh, it's good. <laughs> You all right, Riz? I'm taking that as a no. Well, we're here watching locals pick some locals and give away to the locals. Want to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to honor ourselves in that good way. Well, guess what? I think this works out better because I was getting bored of it in there. But tornado warning, so we gotta go. Yeah, we're pissing off the locals with. Us calling it out like, just make the local special because all the locals are getting picked over the ones that are actually dancing. But anyway, 
Anyway, so we're, uh, Audrey just came and told us that there's a tornado warning. So we're gonna go take our tents down before shit gets real. Go, yeah, well, honestly, I was gonna throw mine away because it ripped. Used up, used and abused. Yeah, I've had it for a good two years now. Did me justice. Did me justice. Roll that up. Now yeah, these are them tornado clouds we're talking about. You feel the wind. It's almost as if they're giving an invocation. It's windy as hell. Well, I'm all done. And these guys are all done. She's been done. These guys are getting there. And they're getting there. What are you trying to get? Come on, do I have camera shy now? This hamburger meat. He just wants that meat. Shout out Saddle Lake for the umbrella. Got in the giveaway last week. And to any of them Sixicas here and back feets, that tent is officially retired. Yep, packed to the brim. That's a wrap. He has asked us what our problem is. Look in the mirror, Sabine. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, Elijah. Bruce, you don't do it. Just looking all humble. Just all handsome. So it turns out that I guess a bunch of the drums got shorted on money. We, me and Bruce are the only ones out here. Wild Rose, we got shorted only a hundred, and apparently they said they'd gladly pay us back Tuesday. Yeah, I've heard that before. No, I'm just kidding. But for real though, I guess that's I'm not trying to figure something out about that. We all got shorted some money. We only got shorted a hundred. A couple other drums got shorted 11, up, up to eleven hundred or so, if not more than that. So, yeah. By the way, as you guys can see, the tornado warning. Nice view. It was a bunch of booty. Nice view, though. It's a nice view. We out here. I, I could ask to take the Jeep, but I doubt she will if she needs the Well, we played Tetris on three different vehicles. So three of us ran back in this car. This is my car with a uh, drum. Three in that car, and I think I have five in the pickup here. So... I get this guy back and ready to kick another work week down. Just like that. Just like that. And he's on the receiving end. Wow. Yeah. Well, you can't see us, but we're here. I'm abnormally taller. I think my head's not even really in the frame. But uh, gassed up. Got some snackings for now. <laughs> Making our way to A and W was the group consensus. Some Papa Burgers. So we're slowly trekking along. Nearest one, or not the nearest one, but the only one that was open, going in the direction that we're going, isn't for another 45 minutes, about five minutes ago. So we're slowly trekking our way back, based off of what the map said. We'll be making it back to. Old Kentucky to drop this guy off around 9 o'clock. So, we're in for a drive, boys. We're in for a drive. Need it, my life. My life. Oh, pit stop. Let's stop and get some of that A and W. A dubs. Stop the gas of these guys. We're big chilling. Fuck, they sound some funny content, though. Me and this guy bullshitting around. Yeah. 
I'm always a little bit more, a little bit more funny when I'm half asleep. Well, we're at the border. Hopefully, there's no bullshit. Uh, 411 here. So Ethan got his shit stolen up there in Canada, up in the Sixika after the power. So he's got pictures of his passport and his birth certificate. So we'll see if that. They said that should work. So we got fucking harassed last time we passed through here. Heading back to the states at least. For real. You didn't see that on the previous vlog. I can, he's definitely not the same guy from the last time we went by. We're on the way back. This is the last guy. The other guy was over there. This guy looks like a young guy. Yeah. And it was a lady that let us pass earlier. On the way up. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Good. How are all right, appreciate it. Thank you. Way cooler than that. Way cooler. <laughs> oh, shit. He made that with that. Like, Watch, watching these guys' video of that harassment bullshit pissed me the fuck off, bro. Like, <laughs> for real. Now, this guy was this way guy was fucking <laughs> cooler. Was he even trying to help me? He was trying to help you out. Like, yeah, what you want to do is. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, we're back in the States, boys. We're back in the States. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I was all kind of getting nervous again. Uh, one bad experience just fucks it up for everybody. <sighs> so. Well, it's about 6 a.m. And got to make a stop. I didn't realize my phone got turned off. So I gotta get a phone card. Stretch out the legs a little bit. But we're alive and we're back in the USA. Boom, boom. Hey, just kidding. Oh, look where we're at. Yeah, that light just says. What a boy. Yeah, get our money and get the hell out. Well, got our exchange done. I'm back to USA money. Got rid of the uh, rid of the monopoly money. Now we're gonna head out and make our way over yonder. Ethan's been driving, so just going with the flow. That was a quick stop. My mate to Pendleton dropped off, bro. Now on our way back to the valley. Quick stop, and then back on the road. <laughs> Yeah. I was in Missoula tonight. I should get somewhat of a nap. Full night's rest. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking on the go, man. Yeah, so the plan is, is at least Missoula for the night and then. 19 hours after that. And then 13 after that. Ain't so bad. 19 ain't so bad. Yeah, between us two, we're pretty. We should be all right. Once we get a good night's sleep, <laughs> we'll be set for life. Ten right. hours, ten hours. Then yeah, after that, it's six and six, or something like that. Six and six, seven and seven. Yep. Yeah. There's two men in it this weekend. There's coming weekend. All the way to North Carolina. Yeah. So. But yeah. That. That's kind of it, really, for this trip. Now we're just getting ready to start the next one. So, yeah. <laughs>